you must be the new builder. I'm Ian, the other new builder. I just got here a week ago. Nice to meet ya. I'm here to take you to the Commerce Guild. The retiring builder and the commissioner are there. Let's not keep them waiting. Follow me. This way. Howdy there! I'm Yan, president of the Sand Rock Commerce Guild. Pleased to make your acquaintance, yada yada yada. I'll be overseeing you with Mian, but don't think of me as your boss. Think of me more as, um, a buddy that's your, uh, uh, supervisor. This here's Mason. He's retiring, and, you know, the whole reason for you being here and whatnot. But you knew that already. Uh, what am I talking about? Anyway. See that workshop there on the other side of the tracks? It used to be Mason's, but now it's all yours. Ain't that swell? Just think of all the great stuff you'll be able to make in there for our Commerce Guild. And, well, for other people too, I guess. Uh, well, I am now speechless. Uh, Mason, as the uh, established builder of Sandrock, why don't you say a couple of inspiring words? Um, uh, well, let's not get too friendly. I mean, I'm on my way out of here. <clears throat> my workshop is yours now. You may find it run down and dilapidated, ill-equipped, and it is certainly those things, but you may also find that the place has a lot of heart. I believe that will suffice. May you bring Telesis to the land. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm off to the Blue Moon. There are only so many more days I'll be able to get my Yakmel milk on. Well, he always was a bit awkward, mind you. Anyway, back to business. Before you start, I need to tell y'all a bit about how we work here in the desert. I know you already hold builder licenses, but things are a bit different here from what you're used to. To start with, there are too many trees around, so don't go swinging your axe around too much. It's, uh, frowned upon, anyway. But there's plenty of scrap metal and driftwood you can break apart. For that, you'll need something called a pick hammer. It's a pick with a hammer, just as the name implies. We use it only because it's useful for breaking up rocks, but it's also durable enough to break up the old world scrap all around here. Easy stuff to make as well. You just need to find some stone and wood and craft it at your work table. Why don't you try making one for yourselves? You'll be needing it right away anyway. When you're done, just come find me in the Commerce Guild. But, you know, uh, no rush. <laughs> uh, see you there. <laughs> True, it is pretty easy to make. We should be able to find the stone and wood we need by just searching through junk piles on the ground near our workshops. Picking up things is fun. Hey, let's go to your workshop and see what kind of machines Mason left for you. Let me take you there. I'm already getting pretty acquainted around here, so I can make sure you don't get lost. slim pickings, but at least he did leave you a work table. That should be all you need to make a pick hammer. You know, Sandrock is still well known across all free cities for being directly on top of an old world metropolis. They say some old scraps even end up here on the surface when the wind blows. Once we have our pick hammers, we can smash them up and get all the resources we need. Also, I kind of wanted to say something to you privately. Um... See, the reason I came to Sandrock is because it's not doing well for itself. Everybody in the Free Cities knows that. But I didn't hesitate signing that contract. I thought it'd be the best way for me to make a difference in the world. I bet you feel the same way. So let's make a promise, builder to builder. Let's take Sandrock back to its glory days during our time here. Let's give it our all, okay? Woo! Well, I'm off to make my pick hammer. See you around! I 
heard there's this builder in Portia that says commissions, commissions, the more the better, every single day. I wonder if it's true. Take it easy. new builder it is wonderful to have you here amongst our desert flock i am burgess chief safety inspector of the sand rock chapter of the church of the light i mostly patrol the oasis and if that water level moves even a centimeter boy you better believe i'll let everyone and their mother know about it i hope you extend your charity to our cause at all times i grew up here in sand rock and have always seen how the church helped our needy. That's why I joined. Catch you later. Now that's a nice looking pick hammer. It is the soul of a desert builder. Never lose it. But if you do, well, now you know how to build another one, I suppose. Next, let me tell you about the recycler. It's another indispensable tool for a desert builder. It's the machine that's synonymous with make do. Once it's made, you can put the scrap you collect with your pick hammer into the recycler to get all kinds of useful items. 
You can construct the recycler on your assembly station. Here's the diagram for it. Just look it up in your workshop handbook. You can also open to it on the control panel at the assembly station. Eh, don't worry so much. You'll figure it out. Come back to the Commerce Guild when you finish. Bye now. Hmm? You are. <laughs> no, no need to show me the recycler. I'm sure it's fine. You have a builder's license, right? Besides, what's the worst it could do? Explode and burn our whole town to the ground? <laughs> the main thing to take away here is that from now on, whenever you have questions, you can just consult your workshop handbook and definitely uh, not ask me anything related to building whatsoever. Yes, I'll be far, far too busy to handle your questions. So, now you have the basic knowledge of a desert builder. Why don't you mosey on over to City Hall and register your workshop? Normally, the mayor handles registrations, but Minister Matilda's taking over administrative type stuff for her at the moment. Oh, huh, you hadn't heard? She's off trying to plant things in the Eufaula Desert. <laughs> Didn't no one ever tell her plants need dirt to grow? <sighs> Say, She's been gone for a while. I sure hope she's still alive. <laughs> oh, uh, by the way, I found a couple of extra diagrams I was probably going to throw away. <laughs> but uh, why would I do that when I could just uh, recycle them uh, to you? <laughs> uh, no need to thank me. Consider it a new employee uh, bonus uh, 
thingy. Anyway, hurry over to City Hall and have Matilda register your workshop. While you're out, I'll be preparing a job for you. Hurry back when you're registered. Hi, new builder! I'm Jasmine! I grew up here. My mom's the mayor, but... She's not here right now, cause... Mayoring is such a busy job! But that's okay! Everyone in this town is really nice! You're going to like it a lot! I know it! Hmm... Ah, you're a new builder. Nice to meet you. I'm Katori. I think we'll be working together a lot in the future. I'm trying to turn Sandrock back into the jewel of the desert with my Golden Goose Entertainment Extravaganza Complex. Eh, that's a mouthful. It needs better phrasing. <laughs> anyway, even if you have no idea what I'm talking about, drop by and have some fun. Here, a few tokens to get you started. People think I'm crazy for trying to turn this place into an entertainment hotspot, but just look around. It's free real estate. You know what I mean? See ya. You must be one of the new builders. Well, justice is my name and justice is my game. That's right. I'm the law around these parts. Head of the Civil Corps. Back when we were all kids. We were like two legs in a pair of jeans. Inseparable. You go ahead and drop my name next time you're over at the Blue Moon. You're sure to get some extra gravy. Be seeing you. Oh, who goes there? Oh, it's you. <laughs> I thought you were one of Logan's gang. <laughs> Silly me, you look nothing like an outlaw. Your arms are so skinny. Do you even know how to defend yourself? You know the desert isn't kind to the fragile. Hmm. It is decided. I, the magnificent pen, the protector of Sandrock, as of five seconds ago, have taken it upon myself to offer you a combat lesson. Splendid. Let's go. You know why I came all the way out here to serve and protect? Because this place builds toughness! If you ain't tough, the desert will chew you up and spit you out! People here need to train often to build that toughness. Now before we spar, you can go pick a weapon from over there. <laughs> Doesn't matter which, all the same to me. When you're ready, come at me! Come and attack me! I won't fight back! And let me see what you can do! <laughs> Is that all you've got? <laughs> Don't tell me you skipped leg day! Okay, you can swing a weapon around. <laughs> We're all very proud of you. But can you break through my defense? <laughs> Did I just feel pain? <laughs> Don't you know any other moves? I'm getting bored. Now it's my turn. Stand still, this won't hurt much. I can read you like a book, skinny arms. Enough! I grow weary of this! Time to end this! 
And thus concludes the segment of my combat course titled, Never Mess with Pen. I hope you learned something. <laughs> I sure had fun teaching it. The first thing I would do if I were you is to go back to your work table and craft a weapon. But that's just me. Farewell, skinny arms. I received some flowers today. And it's not even my birthday. <laughs> How quaint. Another secret admirer. It wasn't from you, was it? Bye. Why, hello there. You must be the builder. I'm Minister Matilda from the Church of Light, filling in for Mayor Trudy. We're so excited to see you getting started as a builder here in Sandrock. If you're here, well that means you must have passed Yen's little audition and you're ready to register your workshop. All you have to do is fill in the name of your workshop and we're all set. That'll do it! If you ever want to change your workshop name again, you can buy a rename card from the City Hall store. Congratulations, Builder! Your workshop is officially open for business in Sandrock. Whenever you're ready, you can start taking commissions from the commission board inside the Commerce Guild. Now, I'm not exactly known around these parts for my arithmetic, but I do reckon we can expect a lot from two builders as opposed to just old Mason by his lonesome. Work hard, then you'll have plenty of pocket money for yourself too, don't you know? Hmm, I dare say this calls for a celebration. Normally we have fireside meetings on Sunday nights, but I reckon I'll just round everyone up tomorrow to proper welcome you new builders. Oh, and you must come. It wouldn't be the same without you. See you then. And congratulations again, Builder. May you bring Telesis to Sandrock. No need for introductions. I know who you are. I'm Pastor Miguel. I guess you could say I'm the brains behind this little operation. <clears throat> I trust you'll bring Telesis to Sandrock and beyond. If you find anything that looks dangerous down in the ruins, be sure to inform us right away. I don't want anything like the Ethia dancing robot incident happening here. Goodbye. Seeing you. Hey, I'm unsure. A member of the local civil corps. There are dangerous elements all around town, such as the criminal gang led by Logan or the aggressive Gieglers. You should be careful. Hey, do you like sand? If not, I've got bad news for you. Catch you later. Oh, hey, did you get a 
message from Yen saying, Emergency, come now, as well? Wonder what's the emergency? Listen here, you lazy mop stick. Me and my boys have had it up to here with your excuses. Where's our lift, huh? Look, Rocky, old oh buddy, old oh pal. Don't you buddy me, pal. Since Mason's leaving, you promised me you'd do it yourself. First it was you had a cold, and then it was your turtle beans. And today I find out you don't even got a turtle. Do you understand how much money I'm losing here? So now, I gotta give you a beatdown. Sorry, pal, but it's a company policy. Oh, uh, uh, wait, no, Rocky, no, look. Well, what I really meant is, uh, I was bringing in new people to take special care of your commission. Uh, uh, look, here they are. Did we come at a bad time? No, no, you came at the perfect time. Uh, Mr. Rocky here is the big boss of Eufala Salvage. And he's got a very special commission that we should take care of right away. With Mason's departure, the commission sort of got lost in the shuffle for a few, uh, uh, months or so. But now that you two are both registered workshops, you can take this commission off my hands. Uh, uh help out, uh, right? Oh, yeah, sure. That's what we're here for. Did you hear that? Our first big job! Great! See? They're up for it. Uh, what do you say, uh, buddy pal? All right, Yen. Against my better judgment, I'm gonna give you one more chance. Great! Listen here, builders. Rocky and his miners are working out of Paradise Lost. You know, that big-looking ruins right next to the builder's workshop? My pal here commissioned two crane lifts to move things up and down this real long tunnel they're working out of. And since there are two of you, each one of you can make a lift. Easy peasy for all. Sorry for putting you two on the spot. If only Yan's doing his job like he's supposed to it. Hey, I'm not your pal. If you're looking for parts, we have a bunch of salvage in our company backyard that you can ruffle through. It's located by the Paradise Lost Ruins. Lots of miners there. Can't miss it. Normally, we charge a weekly fee for access. But here, take a free one-week pass. When you're done, install it for me as well. She already drew me up a diagram for the lift. So yeah, you can have it. Hope you put it to better use than this sigh excuse for a builder here. Uh, my, uh, back was hurting. Based on this diagram, we won't be able to find these parts from any random scrap. I guess we'll need to take a look at Rocky's salvage yard. Looks like we'll need to use the furnace as well. Well, we can't finish if we don't get started. Let's do our best. Uh. See ya! Oh, it's you again. Say, since I've got you, could I ever explain the uh, commission board to you? Phew, uh, all right then, newbie, listen up, because I don't want to have to repeat myself. The most important commissions that I'll need you to do... Well, don't you worry about that. I'll make sure you know about those. Rocky's crane lift, for example. But for everything else, there's the commission board inside the guild. Townsfolk post less urgent commissions there. Nevertheless, you should still pick up those right away. Good for you, good for the guild. Each commission gets a star rating. One star means it's easy. Five stars means it's for pros only. Want to feel the glory and reap the rewards of five-star commissions? Uh, gotta start at the bottom and build up your workshop equipment and reputation. Since you're a newbie, you can only take one per day. Finish it up quick, then pick up a new commission the next day. As you raise your star rating, you'll be able to take on multiple commissions per day. At the end of the year, we here at the guild count up who's been doing what around town and divvy out awards to the top performers. The rewards for taking first place are pretty sweet. Uh, but I wouldn't concern yourself with that so much. I mean, I've never lost. <laughs> well, that about does it. Got everything? That's good, newbie. You listen to speech as well. I dare say you have middle management written all over you. <laughs> See you around.
You're that new builder in town. <laughs> or was it someone else? Ah, that's right. There's two of you. Neon and uh, you must be the other one. Well, I'm glad you're here. I'm Hugo, the one and only blacksmith in town. If you need to buy construction materials, upgrade parts for your machines, or obtain top of the line weapons, I'm all you got. But I promise the best. Just check this out. This here is like me, iron tough. That's the quality I'm talking about. Thank you. Uh-huh. Take her easy. Hey there! I hope you extend your charity to our cause at all times. I grew up here in Sandron and have always seen how the church helped our needy. That's why I joined! I hope you extend your charity to our cause. See ya!
I heard there's this builder in Porsche that says commissions, commissions, the more the better, every single day. See ya! You're one of the new builders. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. I'm Owen. I run the Blue Moon Saloon. Are you hungry? I have a couple sample dishes. I know you can work up <laughs> quite an appetite uh, after spending a day in the ruins. Drop by any time. I'll be around. My pa chose the name Blue Moon for the saloon because he wanted the saloon to have the luck of once in a blue moon every day and night. So long, partner.
love Yak Mel Milk. I always order the biggest cup they've got. Glug, glug, glug. Down the hatch. It makes my work that much better. See ya. A new builder? Why wasn't I informed of this? A data disk? Allow me to explain. Data disks are a type of storage medium made of multiple layers of polycarbonate. While many of them don't contain anything useful, some have troves of data on how the old world built their machines and structures. Now granted, we're not yet technically proficient enough to recreate exact replicas of these relics, but with a builder's help, we can get pretty close. Data disks help me create diagrams for new machines which you can construct on your assembly station. I keep a collection of diagrams plus potential future plans with me at all times. So if you need to build something that's not in your handbook, talk to me. Bring me data disks and I'll give you new diagrams. Simple enough. Come here when you have more data disks. I was just thinking of something important, but then you got my attention and I lost my train of thought. See you later.
People think I'm crazy for trying to turn...